All right, Casey, so you got Josh here. I want to walk through how you'll quickly take a program that you've programmed or take programming that is on the team calendar and package it so we store it in your library. And ideally, you actually start here. So you'd start in your library, you build a training plan, and you'd then put that training plan or that program on a team's calendar, right? That way it's stored then in your library, and you can then reuse it, replicate it on another team or even for the same team in the future. But just for the sake of... Uh, saving you time you've already programmed from January through May so let's package it by clicking on the actual calendar and we'll go back to the start date of this program right so we're gonna go back to it looks like January right and we'll go to the seventh so the way this works actually you'll you'll highlight and you'll basically drag your mouse across all the training that you can see on the page. Now we're a little limited here, like you'd wanna just highlight everything, but all you can highlight is what you can actually actually see. All right, so a little goofy. Um, but right now we're gonna get three weeks, okay? So we're gonna get from January 7th to January 26th. And you'll see here in the lower right, I'm gonna hit save to the library, okay? So we're gonna just call this the SMT prep January through May. Okay, now I know we only have three weeks in here, but we'll, we'll add more programming to that, right? So I'm gonna hit save. So right now what we've done is we've packaged that and we've exported it to your library. So it's now gonna be in your library, okay? But we've only packaged three weeks, right? So I wanna actually go from, the, from January 7th all the way to May. So the way that I'm gonna do that is after these three weeks, I'm gonna grab starting on the 28th. So I'm gonna move forward to February. I'm gonna start on the 28th. I'm gonna grab these three. Now, I'm not going to actually save this to my library because it exports it like as a new program. Instead, I'm going to hit copy, right? So at this point, I'm all the way down to February 16th, right? And I'm going to go into the library. I'm going to look for that s and prep program, okay? So I'm going to scroll down. And I can do a search if it's easier since you guys have quite a bit. But here we go, right? I'm going to click on it. And what I'll notice is it's only three weeks long. There's no more programming here. So I need to actually come into the settings and adjust the number of weeks. Okay, so I'm gonna adjust this to be like, I don't know, I guess like maybe 16 weeks or something. Okay, now I'll go back to the program. You'll see there's some blank weeks now. All right, so I'm gonna go down to week four and I'm gonna just, I've copied them. So I'm gonna right click and I'm gonna paste. All right, so now I'm gonna go into to week seven. So it's, it's a little bit of kind of back and forth. Just consider it done it'll all be, be good to go, but that's how I've, I've done it and how I've packaged it. Now again, ideally I start in the library and I build this stuff so that when I go to my teams, I've got a packaged program, right? And let's just, I'll just kind of walk through, I create a new team, right? Maybe I'm training a new group, right? New group one. And we gave it an access code, right? Now rather than building the training plan again, I can actually go to a little shortcut in my top right where I can add something from my library. I'm gonna to go to programs. I'm gonna search for that s and program. Here it is, right? So if I click on that, I can select the start date. All right, we're gonna start this thing on the 15th and I'm gonna add it to my calendar, right? So that then adds the entire program to the calendar and I can adjust it however I want. But now I'm in a good starting point. Um, and I've got it again, still stored in my library. So anyway, that's ideal. We'll have all this package. Just go into your library. You'll see that s and program from January through through May. So thanks Casey.